Today on Internet Marketing Pro, we are going to cover how to optimize your YouTube videos for SEO with our special guest, Dan Maynard. Are you legally minimizing your future tax burden and staying compliant in today's complex tax code? If not, our sponsor, Michelu Consulting, has over 30 years of experience providing top quality professional services in accounting and tax preparation for a wide variety of clients like you. Whether you need a tax return, filing, planning, bookkeeping, financial statements, full service payroll, or a corporate or individual tax return, I personally recommend you to contact Jeffrey Ressler, CPA, at 561 237 Five two six four. That number again is five six one two three seven five two six four. And you can visit his website at jrcpa.net. That's jrcpa.net. Tell Jeff that Chad Deckard sent you from this podcast to receive his special rate for listening to this show. Thank you very much. Broadcasting from the city of sun and rain off the Atlantic Ocean in Boca Raton, Florida. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. I'm your host, Chad Deckard, and welcome to my Internet Marketing Pro podcast show. My shows will cover how to grow your business as well as topics on tips, tricks, and techniques, digital lifestyles, the future of finance, and entrepreneurism. Thank you for tuning into my show as we begin this adventure together exploring many great things to come. Now, let's cover a few quick announcements before we get started. I really appreciate you all giving me the feedback that I've been getting, what a difference it makes in motivating me to put these shows out and continually think of the next subject matter that I'd like to explore with you all. I'm also very excited about you all helping me get more subscribers by sharing my content with your social network. My weekly listener base is growing a great deal week after week, and that's the greatest payoff my listeners can do You know, for giving back to me for my efforts and time and putting into putting this show together. If you like my show and find it resourceful, please do your social network a favor and share, like, post, leave a comment, give me a review, or subscribe to my show, most importantly. I greatly appreciate your efforts and support. Now, let me make one more announcement, and that is please be sure to check out a new resource that I've put up. It's called ezinegenerator.com. It's a free resource that will give you over-the-shoulder uh, teaching, uh, just like uh, video, uh, podcasts, uh, product and service reviews, and great resources that cover the total Internet spectrum. And it's not only the best thing about it is that it's totally free for you. You can also sign up to post your own blog or RSS feed at no cost as long as you follow the rules. And there's also a paid subscription service for various services from not only myself, but various partners that I've partnered up with and work with uh, in the industry. So let's get down to business for today's show. Today we have a guest uh, who his name is Dan Maynard. Dan is an internet marketer and has a Bachelor of Commerce degree from McGill University with a specialization in marketing. He's been doing search engine optimization since 1999 and currently he is the SEO college director at Jamulashack.com, the world's biggest Jamula template company. Dan enjoys teaching strategies related to SEO like how to optimize your YouTube to get high rankings quickly. He enjoys the freedom and challenge of entrepreneurship while reaping the rewards associated with traditional businesses. And we're going to discuss YouTube and search engine optimization for your videos. How are you doing, Dan? Hey, Chad. It's, um, I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm doing great, too. Thanks for asking. It's really sunny here in South Florida. Very few clouds. Uh, it's nice. Uh, it's actually a lot cooler this month than it normally is. It's usually hot and humid right now. How's it up there in yeah, Canada? Uh, actually, we're experiencing, we had some really nice weather, but we had a long, cold winter. Uh, we actually broke records in terms of the uh, the amount of snow and volume of snow and uh, the coldest spring, too, as well. So having some sunlight and getting some of the warmer weather is a welcome uh, a welcome thing, for sure. Yeah, I heard everybody's having something strange going on the last few months with their weather, but... Uh I guess uh, everybody's just totally looking forward to the to the summer and getting back to uh, sunshine and going outdoors and enjoying themselves while they can. Because <laughs> I hear yeah, you have sure. long, long uh, winters up there. <laughs> yeah, I know. And we're moving back to Montreal, as I mentioned to you uh, mm -hmm. before the call. And uh, we just sold our house and everything's cleared away. So we're moving out uh, around June 10th. So uh, and, I, and I hear you mentioned that you're going to be in Montreal, too, as well. So I'd like to invite you to come over once we're settled in and Great. have a beer with me. Absolutely. Yeah, I've got uh, another uh, 
person I'm going to meet there too, and that would be uh, awesome. I mean, I have people that I can actually go meet there. I don't even know anybody from Montreal other than a couple uh, weeks ago, and then yourself now. So I'm on a roll. Who knows who else? Might have to have a convention. <laughs> <laughs> sounds sounds great. I'll be your I'll be your interpreter because I do speak French too as well. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, let's get into the the nitty gritty of the show, and uh, I wanted to start off with my first question to you, and that is, um, you know, how did you get into YouTube? Or get started. Uh, it's a bit it. of a it's a bit of a story in terms. Of, I started doing you know search engine optimization uh, pre Google days way back in 1999 and then 2000. I was working for a uh, an internet company that provided uh, continuing medical education to cardiologists uh, around the world, and it was kind of my first foray into SEO, search engine optimization. So I was learning to do SEO back in the old days when everything was about, uh, you know, keyword density and so on and proximity and uh, backlinks weren't even a, uh, a thought process in that whole realm of doing SEO. And then Google came in, so then I had to learn how to do that too as well. And I had some pretty good success with that. And then so I did... I did uh, Worked for that company for for a year, and then another internet company for another year, and then uh, I just perfected my SEO uh, knowledge and experience, and then uh, I built my own website where I was selling pianos online, and uh, so I was top ranked for all the major brands of uh, digital pianos out there, and making some pretty good money uh, selling them on behalf uh, of Amazon, and uh, so that uh, worked out really well for me, and then the. Uh, the big boom happened with the Panda update uh, last in 2011, and that kind of really killed uh, my traffic on my website and my income, uh, to say the least. So then I got into YouTube uh, marketing. I had heard something about YouTube being the second largest search engine, and there was quite a mass of traffic going there and using that. So I said, well, I'm going to investigate that and have a look at that. And I just kind of fell in love with YouTube. I think that uh, marketing with YouTube as opposed to using text is uh, captures that emotion and it has a, a better personal connection with people when you have video. So I took a course in YouTube uh, SEO, and then from there I just married the, what I learned from that course with some of my experiences in terms of uh, organic SEO, and that was really successful for me. So that was kind of my foray uh, into YouTube SEO. Well, let me ask mm -hmm. you this. Why YouTube? YouTube, I, because it's, it's just, it's got a certain appeal to it, and when I think about what's happening nowadays with mobile smartphones and you know smart tablets and so on i think it's it's a great marriage between mobile and video when you look at a smartphone and you try to read text on a smartphone i mm -hmm. would rather have a podcast listen to I agree. or watch a video mm -hmm. so to me uh, i could see the writing on the wall that video was going to become bigger and bigger and I decided to look at that. And I was also very intrigued uh, by the aspect of creating videos. Being a musician and piano player for over 40 years, it brought in that sort of creative element to the whole thing of SEO. So I really enjoyed doing that. Secondly, uh, you know, YouTube is the second biggest search engine out there after Google. And it's also the third most visited website on the planet. With over 880 million visitors a month and 4 billion views a day, it really boggles the mind in terms of the potential uh, for traffic to your website or to your, you know, your lead capture email list. So that's why I, I embarked on, you know, looking at YouTube. Yeah, I don't blame you. I got on YouTube in um, what was it, 2006, very, very early on in the game, and. Started putting up videos, didn't know too much about it, but uh, was shocked at like, wow, people like really care like to watch my videos, <laughs> but they did. And uh, believe it or not, you know, my channel, I've got about almost 1.2 million views now, seven years later. Wow. And majority yeah. of those have come in the last two years because several yeah. of my videos went viral um, from a trip that I went on to Spain. And of course, you know, I post my podcast there too, as well, and some other mm -hmm. internet marketing videos that I like to share. And, um, I love the, the format. I think it's, uh, fantastic. I think, um, sky is really the limit. And, um, 
you know, I'm interested in finding out probably a little bit more because, you know, being a, an avid user myself and seeing the way that you can use uh, YouTube in so many different ways from little mini infomercials to explaining how to use a product or demonstrating a, a, tr a product or doing a, an over-the-shoulder tutorial. It's a fantastic platform to do such a thing. And I think that, you know, you've established some type of uh, a YouTube course. It's it's called uh, Video uh, Traffic Adrenaline. Um you know, who is that for? You know, who would use that and what would they use it for? Yeah, no, I did establish that course because I saw people, I do consulting work on YouTube videos and create videos for corporations as well as uh, getting them top, you know, top rankings in YouTube. And I, I noticed that some people want to learn to be able to do it for themselves. So then I created a course called Video Traffic Adrenaline. And I call it that because, first of all, video traffic, which is you know pretty easy to understand. But then the adrenaline part of that is that you can get massive traffic fairly easily, a lot more easily than you can on Google Organic. Just to give you an example, um, I have a video that I you know, uploaded, optimized, and within a month it was number two on Google for a keyword phrase out of 1.2 billion search results. And it gets uh, 6 million searches a month. So that tells you how quickly you can, you know, get your videos optimized as, as opposed to waiting maybe perhaps a year to get that through uh, Google Organic. So, you know, the immediacy of YouTube is there. So anyways, I created the course to help people optimize their videos, and it's really adapted for the small to medium-sized enterprises. So if you're a small business owner and you don't want to get too technical in terms of learning how to do, you know, uh, Google organic search and trying to keep up with the panda and the penguin updates that are coming out, uh, it, would, it would seem almost every month or something new that comes out and you have to try to keep up with that, that's almost a full-time job. Well, well, with YouTube, you can learn the basics and get your business up there at the top of YouTube, sometimes in a matter of hours, just by learning the core principles of YouTube SEO or video SEO. So basically, the course is designed to help the small business person who wants to learn how to get you know very uh, cost-effective advertising and get their videos at the top of YouTube. One thing I should say, though, is that a lot of people don't want to be in front of a camera, and really, you don't have to be, because you can actually create a PowerPoint presentation, mm -hmm. record that, and make that available on YouTube, and it's just as effective as somebody talking on a video. So it's really well adapted for the small to medium-sized enterprises. Absolutely. Everybody's getting extremely creative. Um, and, you know, like I said, I've been on uh, YouTube since 1996, so I have just seen a, a massive evolution of how people are utilizing it. Now it seems like one of the hot things to do is uh, the whiteboard, you know, the, the people drawing while telling a story about their product or service, and uh, it's kind of animated at the same time. And I think that's a really neat approach. Um, and then, you know, some people, even like myself, will take a combination of photos and some PowerPoint point slides and create a video where I just voice over and of course I'm doing podcasting and so all these different things you know are are, are ways that if you are camera shy or you have a uh, a movie star voice uh, you can definitely uh, deliver uh, audio on top of video without having to really show your face and get into those high production quality putting makeup on making sure you're not shining or sweating because of the sun so there is a lot of alternatives for those out there that think that they have to be in front of the camera um, let me ask you this uh, my next question would be you know how are you using and what are you doing with video traffic that's really kind of sets you apart from the rest of maybe any other course that they might be teaching out there? Well, um, beyond the course itself, uh, Video Traffic Adrenaline, where I teach the fundamentals of how to get to the top of YouTube and rank really high and get traffic, the next part of that, of the course that's coming up very, very shortly will be, okay, what do I do with that traffic? Now that I've got that traffic, what can I do with that? So I look beyond just YouTube. I look into a whole system approach whereby I'll try to take that traffic, okay, and say, what do you want to do with that? Well, maybe you want to drive into, you know, a lead capture page where you have an email, you know, autoresponder so you can always, you know, market to them or send them, you know, valuable information. So how do you set that up and work with YouTube to do that? 
And there are a number of ways to do that uh, on YouTube. And one of them now is that YouTube allows you to put annotations in your videos that not only lead to other videos within the YouTube community, but it also allows you to point that annotation when somebody clicks on it to bring them to your website. So it's becoming much more easy That's awesome. to be able to use, to use YouTube to you know, uh, capture those leads, whether it's through an email system or bring them to your website or to drive them to an affiliate offer. So at times, you know, you can, what you can do is that once you've got your website approved uh, for, for YouTube, where you can send the traffic to your website, you can redirect them to a, an affiliate offer or, offer or you can have them stay on your website. So there's lots of different ways you can use YouTube uh, to grow your business. One of the ways I'm using it right now is that I'm actually helping companies and doing some consulting work because they realize the potential of YouTube and they realize they have to be there. I actually have a company that has a competitor who's on YouTube uh, for a particular product and they want to be able to beat them. So what I've done is that I offer not only to create the video, and there are a lot of people who do that, but there's not that many people who can actually take that video and put it and rank it in at the top of YouTube for competitive terms. So I offer a package whereby you know where I create the video and then I offer that uh, high rankings on YouTube too as well. So there's different ways you can look at YouTube uh, for your business. Uh, you can use, use it for lead capture, affiliate marketing, or just for um, uh, brand awareness too as well. Yeah, I, I noticed that that uh, that was a recent update with the YouTube, um, with as far as uh, linking out through an annotation. In fact, that was almost a game changer in my mind. I haven't actually taken the time to really go in there and um, make changes and optimize my videos and taking advantage of that link out uh, function. But that is just super exciting when it comes down to like think of, thinking in just terms of direct marketing is concerned, a direct response. I mean, you could have a, 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 a say, an, I would assume you can correct me if I'm wrong, but an annotation sitting on the, you know, at any place on your screen off to the side where someone could click at any moment and land right into your shopping cart and voila, boom. Boom! I'm taking the order now. So there might even be a, a there might not even be a, the sales funnel. Actually, might be actually reinvented here soon. No, I would agree with you. And, and you know, those annotations are great. You know, you can use those. But what I do now with my videos, I actually you know put in the lower thirds in there and have it pop in. So it's actually built into the video. And then I can use the annotation that's just a hot spot. And so if they, as long as they click in that area where the banner is shown in the video then that becomes clickable and I can take them to my website. So that's kind of a little more refined way of doing, you know, the external linking from your video. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to spend some time here this summer while I'm on the lake uh, <laughs> doing some reading and, and, and getting myself up to uh, par with some of these uh, new uh, techniques and features. And, and uh, I'm really excited about hearing about that because for someone like me who's putting out a lot of content and it's, uh, you know, my preference is podcasting versus writing an article or doing infographics or other types of uh, means for getting content, you know, out and distributed and syndicated. And um, so I'm going to check that out. In fact, I might have to even uh, dive in and uh, do a uh, maybe a whole video traffic adrenaline review. For, uh, <laughs> oh, that'll be a, it'd be well appreciated. Yeah, yeah for my for my video audience, and uh, you know, because I've seen what you what you've said before. Um, I've seen that happen to my own videos, where it seems like Google's changed more recently. Where now they they really want because there's so much content out there, they really want the latest, greatest, credible, in so many different ways, you know, content that they can get. And that's why when you go on a lot of these pages, a lot of time, there's a, the first page is almost dedicated to people hitting the right keywords based on what you're putting in and the latest, greatest content that there is. And of course, if you look and take the time, you know, if you do it right now and checked it out, you know, whoever's listening, um, you'll see that a lot of these videos are actually published within the last few days. And they're already posting on the first page above some static page, you know, or dynamic page. And uh, that's what you teach is how to do that, you know, how to do it right. And there is a specific formula I've heard somewhere 
maybe you need to match keywords in not only the title but the description, but as well in the in the taglines. Um, and there's so much more to it, but. Um, I hear, you know, like you said, there's a certain procedure and certain things that you need to know in order to get that, you know, maximum optimization. If you want to share any other cool secrets to kind of get, you know, everybody kind of juiced up about, uh, you know, checking out your program, you know, give us some little, a couple little golden nuggets would be awesome. Yeah, for sure, for sure. One of the things you want to do beyond just the uh, keyword phrase and the title tag, description, and the tags is uh, upload your transcript, you know, under closed captioning. I've heard that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's one. Also, um, YouTube is looking at social signals too, as well, much like they do with, uh, you know, like Facebook and so on. How many people are watching your videos, or you know, are they rewinding parts of the video, that sort of thing. So there's ways that you can use uh, that'll show and signal to YouTube that people are engaged with your videos. So that's becoming an important signal too, as well, for the ranking purposes. It's, it goes beyond just, you know external links and uh, just having the keywords in the right place. So the whole course that I developed uh, covers all of that material. Awesome. That's really cool. Well, you know, it's it's pretty much at the top of the show. How about, uh, Dan, you uh, share with the uh, listening audience uh, uh, a couple of the places, uh, um, you know, where you can get some really cool products. I know you're associated with uh, jamulashack.com and uh, – the Internet Marketing Institute, and uh, obviously the Video Traffic Adrenaline. Just tell everybody how they can get in touch with you and some of the products and services that you offer. Yeah, no, they can actually, uh, Video Traffic Adrenaline is available right at the schoolofinternetmarketing.com. So you just go there, click on Go Pro, uh, Go Premium, and then scroll down, you'll see the uh, list of all the courses that are being offered there. And mine is right there, the YouTube course, Video Traffic Adrenaline. Also at uh, MatureStudentCafe.com, I've got the YouTube course there too as well. That is my my own private site too as well. And if anybody's interested in um, in getting their videos done or getting a video SEO done, and then they can always drop a line at uh, MatureStudentCafe.com and send me an email, and uh, I can help them out. Yeah, and for those of you listening, uh, I just want to let you know that if you refer to the description of this video or audio, which whatever way you're getting the uh, it delivered to you through syndication, you can find these links that I'll provide for you uh, to Dan's materials and his courses. So if you're interested in contacting him, you can go ahead and refer to that now. And uh, I think that's about it for today, um, Dan. So I uh, appreciate you coming on the show. Hey, it was uh, a pleasure for me to be on the show. I always love talking about YouTube and YouTube marketing. And, uh, you know, once you uh, let's keep in contact. And once Absolutely. you're in Montreal, you have to come over for a, a really good cold beer. That sounds great. And then uh, I don't know if you're going to Affiliate Summit this August, but uh, it's in Philly. And uh, I will be there attending uh, Affiliate Summit for the first time in the last year. So, uh Hope to uh, maybe see you there. If not, uh, I'll see you, obviously, when I maybe go to Montreal there in uh, mid-July. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be going to the one uh, in August, but uh, probably will be going to the one in January at uh, Philly Summit the West. Oh, nice. In in Las Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's always a good one to go to, of course, uh, because the summer is a little tougher for people getting away with their families and all, and I think you're going to be a grandfather soon, right? That's right. And, of course, (laughs) with the move and everything, so... Stay low for a little while until uh, until September, or I mean until January. Great. All right. Well, thank you very much, and uh, we'll we'll be in touch, and maybe have you back on the show sometime this fall. Great. Uh, nice talking with you, John. You too, Dan. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.